We are hearing from our local representatives as the vote remains deadlocked. Taylor Hernandez continues our team coverage tonight. And Taylor, you spoke with Congressman Brian Mast, who nominated McCarthy again this afternoon. To hear from him in just a minute, but first I want to look at Florida as a whole. Republicans have about 20 anti-McCarthy members, three of which are in Florida. Matt Gates, Anna Paulina Luna, and Byron Donalds, who is also up for Speaker of the House. He initially voted in favor of McCarthy, though. Here in South Florida, Treasure Coast Representative Brian Mast has supported McCarthy through all nine votes, going as far as taking to the House floor, attempting to appeal to his Republican colleagues who are not on board. Before before Congress reconvened this afternoon, he told me while he wishes he could snap his fingers and have this process over, this should signal to the American people that Congress is working to, quote, restructure power. Under Nancy Pelosi, she had an iron grip that not any of her own Democrat members or Republican members or anybody could bring anything to the floor of the House, pass any legislation, get anything through without her very literal sign off. That's not the way that Congress is supposed to work. And, and I will acknowledge to you, that's happened on both sides of the aisle for many, many years. Madam Clerk, and on the other side of the aisle, Representative Lois Frankel, who has voted for the Democrats' choice for Speaker, Hakeem Jeffries, each time, she told me the Republican holdouts are, quote, holding the government hostage. It's not only an embarrassment for the country, because the Republicans are in a chaotic mess right now. I'll tell you this, many of the Republicans are feeling very embarrassed too. This is unprecedented, it's chaotic, it's embarrassing, and uh, the Republicans need to get their act together. Well, before that ninth vote began about an hour ago, another Republican representative was added to that list of nominees, Kevin Hearn from Oklahoma. He got just three votes in the ninth round. The breakdown of votes essentially remaining the same. Proceedings for a tenth vote are underway as we speak. Tiffany, back to you.